trying to straighten myself out. Can you tell it's dark and nasty out here today because of the darkness of my room? Even though I have a light on. Hi there, baby cat. She's up here wanting this, aren't you? You want this already. I just got home and she jumped up here when I sat down like, I want a treat and I want it now. Because she's spoiled. Aren't you? Yeah. Chow down. We've been gone uh, most of the afternoon. It's 4 o'clock now. I made a deposit for my business. Sent out a bunch of um, invoices in the mail. Stopped and picked up the mail at the P.O. box. All that was in there was like one check, but one check is better than no checks. I've made like three deposits this week, though. That's a good week. Are you about done? Got like three left. Um, and then we went to a little place called Mr. Goody's and got a sandwich because I had a coupon for half off a sandwich and I like Mr. Goody's. I had a panini. Yes, I had a gyro panini. So I have gyro breath right now. So <sighs> can you smell it? gyro is going on. And no matter what you do, it's still there. And then we, um, took a ride over by Lake Michigan and it was very, very rough out in the lake today. A lot of white caps because it is a windy mofo outside. It's like 63 degrees. And there was a guy out there on a surfboard with one of those big kite things that you hold on to. That was kind of fun to watch. But man, it was the roughest I've seen the lake in a while. And then we took a ride up the coast. Excuse me. Gyro burp. Sometimes they're not so fun. And now we just got home. Stopped at the grocery store. All I bought was two bags of salad because it was on sale, which is going to be our dinner later tonight. We're each going to have salad. And where else did we stop? Filled up my gas tank. Got the mail. That's it. My day in a nutshell. Hey, you gonna say hi over there? Hmm? Are you happy you had your treats? Yeah. Yeah. She's happy she had her. I have on a shirt I'm not used to and my big fat arms stick out. <clears throat> okay. Oh, I wanted to remind everybody who's going to South Tube to remember to bring a hat for TJ. I'm going to take hats home that are collected at South Tube and take them to the Wacky family because he is still on his quest to break the Guinness Book of World Record, and once he does that, he will be donating the hats around the country to other children who are going through chemotherapy. And uh, so, yes, bring hats, people. Doesn't take up very much room in your luggage, a little spot. Um, so, yay. What else did I want to talk about? That's really about all. I got nothing. I was up late last night, like 1 o'clock in the morning. Dad's like, do you want a Susie Q? I'm like, no. Nothing sweet sounds good right now. Ugh. He goes, how about a grilled cheese sandwich? I'm like, that sounds good. So 1 o'clock in the morning, both me and the Humper were having a grilled cheese sandwich. And it was mighty good. I had that and some water. And I watched some videos, and I started reading a book, then I finally passed out. I could feel it in my joints that rain was coming, because my joints were screaming slightly, but I knew it was the pain that would just, it would ease up once the rain started, once the pressure. So now they don't hurt as bad, which is good. Oh, today I'm wearing, this is a bracelet that Melissa had made me for my birthday. See, this is how I'm going to show her. This is how big it is on my wrist. Cause she made it and she, she thought it was too big and it is a little big. I mean, you can see it, but it doesn't fall off. I mean, it, it's okay, but I can take it on and off without unclasping it. But I love it. I still love it. So I'm going to take it off for right now. Uh, Oh, the rifleman's coming on. Yeah. 
My dad watches The Rifleman every day. Or The Lone Ranger. Yeah. Last night I watched, um, I missed, okay. I watched Survivor. I was hoping the older people would win the first challenge just to make the young people go, huh? But that didn't happen. Then I watched Big Brother. I was skipping between, I was doing jumping around. I was going from Big Brother to America's Got Talent to MasterChef, trying to figure out who's going to win what. And um, I saw who won America's Got Talent, and I saw who won MasterChef, and I saw who won Big Brother, but I missed who won America's Choice. So who won America's Choice? Anybody tell me. Comment me and tell me who won America's Choice. I, I, I'm I thinking it was Brittany, but I turned it back right as the balloons were falling and she had a thing in her hand, so I think it's her. But I'm not 100% because I didn't hear Julie Chen go, Brittany, you're America's Choice. I kind of hope she was America's Choice because she still didn't know that her house had caught on fire and um, she really didn't have a home to go home to. That happened like two days before the finale and they and her boyfriend had talked to the network and said don't tell her just we'll deal with it when she gets done because they didn't want her to worry about it and so she has a lot to go home to deal with um are you relaxing huh You're staring at it's creepy don't do it I didn't take my camera today. I just grabbed some money and my cell phone and ran. And I had thought about grabbing my messenger bag. And I'm thinking, I'm not going to film. There's not going to be anything to film today. And I wished it would have just so I could have filmed the guy doing the whole thing in the water. But it didn't happen, people. So now I'm going to roll. I'm going to go watch some videos and see what's going on since I've been gone today. And, um... My God, this is a boring day. But you know, sometimes life is boring. Hmm. I like that. Actually, I got a little research I have to do. I got to find another hotel or two for my trip home from South Tube. I have a whole plan on my trip home, and um, I just have to see how the plan's going to pan out. I'm hoping it pans out well. All right. Nice seeing you guys today. And I will see you all tomorrow. Oh yeah. Or you'll see me tomorrow. Sorry about that. But it'll happen. Alright. I'm going to call Peggy now. So bye.